Yes, he just recorded a lesson and didn't press record on the camera. This guy here, I'm El Nico Caligari the third. You're at the Death Ray Cat channel. I'm gonna do this lesson again, but this time you're gonna be able to see it. So here we go. So I've had a few requests. This one's for Peter Gunn. I'm gonna look at the Dwayne Eddy version. It's written by Henry Mancini, who did the Peter Gunn soundtrack. Dwayne Eddy does a version his version he tends to play it in F however when checking out videos of him playing this live he seems to be playing with the open tuning so what he's done is tuned every string up half a tone that's a bit of a faff I'm not gonna bother with that I don't think you should bother with that if you're learning let's stick to the standard E tuning because it's hard enough to get that in tune am I right by the way the tabs for this will be in the death ray cat patreon which will be in the link below I'm just gonna shout out some fret numbers at you. You should be able to pick it from this video anyway. You can go and support me if you want to. So. Luckily the rhythm of this is pretty simple. All the notes were hitting, spaced apart the same, the same length of time. So we don't need to worry about that too much with your right hand. By the way, if you wanna get an extra bit of twanginess like Dwayne Eddy, Make sure you're picking close to the bridge. You can see there's a little difference there. Also, if you dig in a bit more, you'll get a little bit more twang. Hopefully that's not, yeah, that's not blown out. Like I said, he tuned up to F. I'm wondering why he's doing that. I think it might be to do with the uh, brass playing along. I know brass dudes like to play along to F rather than E. I could be wrong. Anyway. Here's the tune. So all those notes are spaced out evenly. We're gonna start off with the open E twice. Then once on the second fret. Then open. Then third fret. Then open again. So. That's where we're up to so far. When we get up to here, we're gonna to go to the open A. So we're gonna move strings. Then we're gonna go back to the third fret on the E string. So I'm gonna play that super slowly. So that is it, and then you repeat it, and it sounds cool. Like I said with the Mancini version, I think on the way down he goes to the fourth fret. Slight difference there. However, when I've been watching the live version of Dwayne Eddy, I think it's Glastonbury 2011, uh, we can see him bending that third fret there. Just a quarter tone. Just a little bit to give it a little bit of sauciness. You can see him playing around with it a bit on that performance. It's very nice. Richard Hawley's playing some kind of Dan Electro as well. And finally, there's a little bonus trick for this lesson. For the intro, if you're lucky enough to have a Bigsby on your guitar or some kind of whammy bar, we're gonna look at the intro, so we've got a nice little... So all we're doing here is we're depressing the Bigsby. So we're making it go down, but we're not picking until we've depressed it. So pressing it down, gonna pick the open E, then release, and that brings it back to the E tone. So like that. So, depress, pick the E, release, hit it a couple more times, and repeat. kind of thing so there you go that's as uh, that's as much as I'm going to show you for that tune There's some other bits but that's the big main riff tabs are in the patreon give us a subscribe if you like I'm on 10,000 now let's celebrate 
can buy that yacht finally. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. All right.